There are many places in the world which you wish you could see. Maybe you have seen a lot of those wonderful places, but there is something magical about the world beneath us. The world which we call the aquatic bio. Dream Imagica is a semester long project at Carnegie Mellon University's Entertainment Technology Center. This semester we are working with Mountain View Elementary School in Morgantown, West Virginia. And our goal for this semester is to make an interactive experience that will motivate the students to learn more about world bios. Our team this semester has developed an interactive experience that allows these kids to learn and explore the Caribbean Sea in the most unique way ever. We present to you Hello Ocean. What we offer to the student is a vivid experience that makes them feel as if they are really in the ocean. So we started to create the virtual Caribbean Sea. The students can explore the underwater biome by turning around the tablet and tapping the screen to go forward. While enjoying the Caribbean Sea in this way, the students can touch fish to interact with them. Also, fun facts of this fish will help the students to learn more about the underwater environment. Another cool feature is the ability to take snapshots of beautiful sceneries. The students can view the pictures later on and share their experience with friends. In this semester, we create 15 fish in the sea world. The art style is realistic because we hope the kids can learn something from our world. Our experience has two different interactions. For example, for the first one, the fish wiggles, and for the second one, the fish comes towards the camera. To make the experience more interesting for kids, we have added quests into the sea. Depending on the quest, the kid has to identify the right kind of fish. And to complete the quest, the kid has to click a picture of that fish. The kids can also choose to turn off the quests by toggling between the quests and exploratory modes. Our primary goal is to deliver a beautiful underwater experience. To achieve this, we added a bunch of high quality fish and plant models, water particle effects, sun rays, and of course, shadows. But to make all of this run smoothly on various kinds of Android devices required a whole lot of optimizations. We constantly validated our entire interactive experience with marine biologists. I'm very eager to see the final work of Team Imagica. They're creating a rich underwater experience programming, the art, the design have all come together to deliver an experience where children are going through as if they're in a Caribbean reef. The key, I think, is that the technology uh, serves to tell a story in the way that static biomes just haven't 